What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. I want to talk to you guys today about getting the number or getting the digits as I call it. Now, getting the digits is the perfect way to cap off an approach because if you succeed at getting the digits, that means that the girl is really into you, she feels comfortable with you, and definitely probably looks forward to hanging out with you sometime or at least keeping contact with you. I want to talk about a little bit of the journey of getting numbers and how it's a progression to being really good at getting numbers when you're not good at getting numbers now or if you have a little experience with getting numbers. So when I started off doing this work, asking for numbers for me was terrifying because it was blatantly putting yourself out there to get rejected in a weird way, right? It was like, it was really showing clear intention. And you guys know as nice guys, which a lot of us are, or moving our way out of the nice guy, uh, mentality. We don't want anybody knowing that we have wants, needs, desires, uh, especially sexual um, desires or intimate desires. So we do things to play safe, like beating around the bush instead of being very direct with the person that we're talking to. This is why I did the video on showing intention and doing direct openers as opposed to doing openers that are indirect, which you can totally turn into something that's more direct, but showing intention and being straightforward and how that really exudes a lot of confidence. So in terms of getting the number, a lot of guys, we see this all the time as coaches, we take guys out, they'll be talking to women. Interaction will be going well from what we can see. Girls laughing, she's really into him, she's leaning in, she's connecting with the eyes, so as he's enjoying it as well. He comes back over to us and he didn't get the number. What happens is this, it's a lot of, it's, it's subconscious self-sabotage because they have really great interactions and the natural progression of a great interaction is to ask for the number so you can further that conversation, set up a date, hang out or something like that. But when it comes to asking for the number, it presents a whole different level of tension. So when guys know that that part is coming up and they always do know it's coming up, they go right into their head and they make it really weird about asking it. And so sometimes when a girl rejects you, it's not because she doesn't want to give you a number, it's because you get really weird when it came to asking it. And so maybe that whole interaction was really nice and smooth, but when you get to that part, you got a little weird and you went to your head and that kind of threw her off. And she was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to get this guy my number. Or you'll get it where she's like, when you ask her number, she might be like, uh, I don't know, that kind of thing, right? So for me, I always want a girl to be certain that when she's giving me a number, if a girl does that to me, I'm kind of, I don't, I really don't even want it because it kind of shows me where I was in that interaction. And you don't want to get numbers out of pity because that's never going to go anywhere or text or, or anywhere or, or, or without a lot of effort. And the idea here is that you want it to be effortless, right? You want it to be fun and flowy. You want a girl to want to give you her number so that it's not weird when you ask for it. So I want to talk about getting you guys from maybe you're at a place where you're not confident in asking for numbers or maybe when you go to ask for numbers it gets a little bit weird you don't know how to navigate that um to get into a place where you're just not asking for numbers right off the bat or you done it so much that it's just a part of your natural flow of conversation when you're talking with a girl so for this weekend what i want you guys to do and this is for the guys who Maybe you don't have trouble approaching guys who don't have trouble stopping girls. Okay, so more of the intermediate, more of the intermediate guys. I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you what I want the beginner guys to do after. But here's what I want the intermediate guys to do. Since you guys don't have a problem stopping girls, and maybe you guys are a little bit iffy when it comes to asking for the number, what I want you guys to take into practice is do about three of these a day. Just go out and right off the bat ask for a number. So it'll look something like this. Hey, I, I saw oh, you're beautiful. Um, I, I had to come say hi. And I would love to take you out sometime. Can I have your number? So I want you guys to basically just cut the whole the whole connection piece, the interaction piece, if you don't have to, and just go in and start getting desensitized to just asking for the number. Now, of course, we know that you're going to get rejected a lot because a lot of times there is no connection established. There needs to be a connection established in order for a girl to feel safe to give you a number. But we're not worried about that right now. It's not about getting the number for you guys. It's about you getting comfortable asking for the number so that in the future, 
it's very easy for it to just roll off your tongue. Like, hey, cool, just give me your number then. Let's, uh, let's meet up sometime. We should go do something. Right, let's just pull off like that. It should be more inclined to give you a number because to you, it seems very casual and it doesn't seem out the normal for you to ask for a number. Like, you get, you, get it's a part of that leadership, right? Knowing where to lead the conversation, knowing where to lead the interaction. And that's a huge piece of the puzzle because if that's not together, then how do you plan to ever meet up with this girl, see her later, or have it go anywhere past just that conversation, okay? So this weekend is solely about you going out, doing three a day minimum. Just walking up and like, hey, cool. Hey, I saw you over there, I thought you were pretty, and I wanna take you out sometime, can I have your number? Now, remember guys, you guys are gonna get rejected. That's fine, get used to the rejection. It, it hurts less when you prepare for it. Right. And it hurts less when you're going out with the intention not to get, but to have the experience so that your body can get used to asking for the number. Right. Or showing intention, because what it really is, is just showing intention that, hey, I like you. I want I want to meet up with you again. I think you're cute. And it cuts all the other stuff out of it. So go out this weekend. Do three. Now, for the guys who are beginners who don't know how to go out and even stop a girl. Go back and watch my earlier videos and videos about showing intention, the first 30 seconds of an interaction, the video on grounding that I did for Fearless Friday. That'll get you, that'll bring you up to speed on what you should be doing to pull yourself to a level where stopping women becomes really easy for you and then move on to this level. Because this is really simple once you've been through enough tension in your interactions, this stops becoming a big deal. So go back and watch those old videos if you're a beginner at this, okay? And if you're a little bit more than an intermediate, then you're probably already asking for phone numbers, okay? So what I'll do is, in one of my next or my following videos, is focus on videos that have to do with maybe texting, how do I initiate the interaction after I got the number, and things like that. But for now, I want you guys to solely focus on desensitizing towards getting the number in the first place. And you might be surprised, you might get a whole lot of numbers. Now, of course, do this for the first three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or however long you think you need to do this, and start having your regular conversations that you would normally have when you do your approach, grounding, connecting through the eyes, feeling your emotions, touching, leading, containing, grounding, and then integrate this into your regular conversations. You'll notice how much more easier it is to get numbers, how less resistant women become when you feel very casual about asking for it, okay guys? So again, hope you guys have been journaling uh, and all the exercises that you do so you guys can see your progression because this is a natural progression through all these videos that I'm showing you guys. So I want to see, I want you guys to see your own growth as you go forward because a reminder of your growth shows that you're going in the right direction and that you're not just wasting your time. A lot of guys get caught up in feeling like they're not growing. That's why you gotta have it written down so that you have a reminder of where you start, okay guys? So anyways guys, put in the comments below. I, would, I really wanna know how these are going for you. I wanna know how you guys are handling the rejections. Are you guys getting rejections? Are girls? giving you numbers, are they flirting with you? Are they like, no, I can't give you my number. And then they're kind of giving you a little bit of, a little bit of like, keep trying and I may give you my number, that kind of energy. Just kind of see and go out there and play with it, but put it in the comments. I want to know what you guys are experiencing in this. All right, so go out and do it. Come back, put it in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you guys can keep getting these weekly videos from us, okay? And also guys, remember, only the confident really live. Peace.